Hey guys, Vizera Productions here, and before this video starts, I have to mention that I do have a cold, so that's why my voice sounds a little bit different, but without wasting any more time, I'm gonna get straight into this video. So the Wii U is on its way out. The Wii U is pretty much no more. The Switch is already out, and nobody really gives a crap about the Wii U. Not even Nintendo really cares about it anymore, and that's expected because, well, it's sold terribly, and the Switch just came out, and the Switch is doing way better. But... People still make games for the Wii U, like indie games, and indie games, I got, I, I have no problem with indie games. In fact, I do even think that indie games are one of the most essential games that have to be on a platform. Well, basically, I, 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 uh, I don't know what to say about this, because this is so stupid that it's hard to even comprehend that this is a real issue. So basically, a developer is currently working on a game called Kwakwi the game, and I'm almost guaranteed I said that wrong. And the game looks pretty bad. I mean, like, it just looks like a high schooler game. That's what um, the person RGT85 said who made this video. But basically, the thing that, um, the thing that the reason I am talking about this is because someone sent me a message talking about this, and I did not know that this was actually a problem, but basically, Quirky the game, it was supposed to come out, I doubt it's still coming out. Basically, he asked, uh, he asked a guy for a trailer for the game, okay? Simple. And the guy made the trailer, the trailer doesn't look half bad, it doesn't look great either, but it, it looks okay. But the developer, he really liked it, he really liked that trailer, but the thing is that, the thing, the thing is that the thing is that he asked again for a couple changes. He asked, like you know, just uh, you know, to add some of this and that in the 1080p version, and then he asked for him to remove the watermark of his company because the guy who made the uh, the, the guy who actually made the uh, what's it called the uh, trailer, yeah, the trailer. He has like a company sort of and he wants and this guy this developer doesn't want the logo in it so he asked for the watermark to be removed and he said no i'm not going to give you the version with the watermark and then they get into an argument of saying reasons why you give me this and eventually rgt85 who is friends with um uh, he was friends with the guy who was making the trailer. He decided to join in and then he just like okay look if He doesn't pay you and takes the trailer anyway He's not allowed to do that, but the thing is if you don't want to pay him then That's fine. You just don't get the trailer if you do pay him for the watermarked version You get that trailer and it's a pretty nice trailer for pretty much what he, he thinks and what then what ended up happening was he thought it ended up there he thought everything ended there but it didn't because he got a message i'm not going to go through the whole thing but the best way to sum it up is that he was calling him racist and saying that he was attacking his humble game by throwing dirt at his humble game when they put when he put food on his table so yeah that, oh, uh, oh, okay, this is already getting worse. But the thing that makes this absolutely, like, absolutely unacceptable, the thing that blew this out of proportion was then the developer takes the trailer and he slaps a picture of the main character on the logo and uploads it. Again, he didn't pay for it, slaps it down, and leaves it. He literally just took it and took and just like covered up the logo and nothing else. And that was when things blew up. That was when it was eventually just it, that w that was just when it was time for this to end. So then uh, RGT85 he made a uh, post talking about this. And now the developer is probably going to not be able to release his game with all the backlash he's getting. And RGT85, he also said that he knows someone at Nintendo and will just ask him to not publish the game because of what he did. <sighs> why? 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 What? Why is the watermark such a big deal? I mean, like, 
sometimes watermarks are annoying. Like, um, if you're making an, an intro for your YouTube, like uh, using renderforce.com, they slap a huge watermark all over, like it's taking up the entire thing and force you to pay just if you want to get it, which I guess they're trying to get money, but slapping up the whole thing really, okay, I guess, I guess if you really want to make de that desperate to make money, that's okay. But the thing is, well, why is it such a big deal? It, it's just, it's just giving credit to the original developer. And that's not, it's not even going to hurt your game. It's not like if the watermark is removed, it's going to make your game like a thousand times better. So like, yeah, just no, no, you need to understand. Like, it's not a big deal, watermarks. Like, uh, This is a very, very stupid thing that happened, and I just hope this developer stops making games. I know that may seem a bit harsh, but if he's gonna act like this, I see no point in him making games like this, unless he changes his ways, which I hope he does. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.